an element of surprise versus being in a regular police car where they can see us and identify it a lot quicker. Um, we do jump outs to target robbers, drug dealers, to allow the citizens within this area to be safe. Uh, we're getting ready to roll into an apartment complex well known for drug activity, um, gang violence, um, shootings. We actually got sh shot at there during a hurricane. What we're going to try to do is go in, look for anybody suspicious, deal or possibly deal on narcotics, and jump out on them, and detain them. Okay, he's parking. Uh, let's cut him off, LV. Cut him off. LV, block it off. Don't let it out. What's going on, partner? Why'd you run? Because I already knew what it was. Let me guess. What did you know? Yes, I was scared because y'all been coming over here. I ain't even been over here. So why'd you run? Because I already knew. Knew what? I already knew that I already knew what was going on. What did you know what was going I on? I knew that the police be coming over here. Then why'd you run? You, because I don't have nothing though, sir. You don't have nothing? Then why would you run? Sir, because I already know how I already know how it works. You already know how it works? No warrant. I ain't got nothing. Why'd you try and run over one of my officers? I didn't try to, no, I didn't, I did Man, not try you to run hit me and one of my sir, officers. Sir, I did not try to run him over. You didn't try I and run him no, over? No, sir, I, I didn't run him over. I went to the other side. So why'd you run then? Because I knew that y'all was going to come. come. I knew y'all was going to do this. Well, if you ain't doing nothing wrong, then why would I'm you run? Chilling. Am you I, just chilling? And my friend out. Uh, you were parked in front of nobody's apartment. What friend? I didn't think it is somebody's apartment. Where was it? I, I don't have nothing. Apparently, he just, you just ran because you what? Because I knew that the great... Nothing going on, huh? Nothing. Nothing going on. But you just going to run. What is y'all playing that a call for, sir? What they did was they threw in all their cigarette butts in there. And a lot of times when they dip the cigarettes in PCP, they'll throw them in anything to try and hide the smell from us. But the stuff is so strong that you'll be able to still smell it. This apartment complex is known um, for drugs, gang activity, hijacking. We've had a lot of ag assault when the gang war is going on. He was backed up into a spot. As soon as he saw us driving in, he started to drive out. Right up in here. You can see it. What is that, bud? Looks like crack and weed. All right, looks like we're going to have uh, some crack cocaine and some weed. Common place to hide stuff is up there, the vibes. You can pull the uh, top of the roof down. Why don't you pull it out, Bobby? There's some marijuana. That's a common place we come across where they're hiding uh, any kind of drugs. He, he found some more on the passenger side. You all right, Eric? Yeah. Where'd he hit you? When he was coming back towards us, he had stopped. Yeah. And I went up there to address him, and then he took off getting the car. Which so. side of the car? Passenger? Uh, front passenger. He hit you on the front passenger side. You're okay? Yeah, I'm good. What's up? So we'll try and get ag assault on him. Yeah. On a peace officer for hitting you with the car. We'll try and get evading on him. Yeah. Well, he hit a tree. Well, he hit a tree, but he also hit Sepolia. As you can tell, you can, you can see where he hit the tree. Right here, Bobby. You can see all the scuff marks along the side, broken the mirror. Get some bark down here, too. We got bark down on the ground. Uh, we got a good fresh dent where he hit Sepolia up in the front passenger quarter panel. 
Why are you driving like that just for a little bit of weed up in your car? A little bit of weed in my car, sir. Up in the visors, man. You had weed up in there. You had a couple dime bags of weed. Who? You. It's in your car. I know. I didn't have no weed in my car. What are you talking about, sir? It's up in the, it's up in the uh, roof, sir. Man. I don't have no weed in my car, sir. You don't? No, sir. Okay. I, what, you said why, why were you driving like that, though? I, sir, I just... I mean, you were driving crazy. You went up in the apartment courtyard. Well, you I, be... I was following me. What y'all yeah. following me for? What did I do for you to follow me? That's Because we're the police, you. bud. We, we got to investigate crimes over here. I, I... There's crimes that go on so over here. We got to try and make it a safe environment for come, everybody. Y'all ain't trying to come ask me what's my name or something. To how, how could we even ask, man? You took off. Tonight, you're probably I'm going, going to jail for what? You've been in a motor vehicle, ag assault against a public servant when you hit my officer. Nah, nah, all right, well, I, I should and, and your passenger And cool, your passenger right? will probably go to uh, jail for the weed up above him. And what about the weed that was above you? So we'll probably seize the car, too. How are you going to seize the car, sir? Because you ran. Because I ran? Yeah, you ran in the car. We can seize your car now. So when we jumped out, and yeah, I mean... Yeah, we got who y'all was, eh? So I ain't so know. So you think he ran because he knew we were the cops and he had the weed he and the warrants up there? So that's what I already, already told him with him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He had the weed and everything. Why don't you have a seat for me? Okay. Excuse me, sir. Like, I know I wasn't involved. Why don't you get your foot up in there? He was saying that the driver knew we were the cops, and that's why he was driving the way he was. Yeah, that's course. what he was telling me, too. Yeah, but the driver, of course, saying he didn't know who we were. And that's why he was taking off, even though he knows the cops are coming over here and jump out vans and stuff like that. Yep, that's, that's what he told me too. So, um, so I guess we'll be taking him to jail for his warrants. He's a Vader and ag assault on a public servant. He got some weed. It's cool. a good night so far. All right, cool. Today we're going to be doing a buy bust operation. We'll set up in parking lots, have people come and sell us pharmaceutical pills. Things to think about when you're taking these people into custody, syringes. A lot of times they're going to have track marks, these people from injecting the pills. Uh, just be conscious of that. Okay, guys, I'll give you the information over the radio. Just be safe out there. We've got information that our targets, uh, a male and a female, unknown vehicle, are going to be arriving to uh, deliver 40 oxycodone pills. And we're just waiting for the undercover to give us the uh, takedown signal. Yeah, I'm in a black dye is white. You pulling in? Our target has pulled up in a uh, F-150 maroon color. They've backed into the uh, building right next to the Perkins right now, and our uh, undercover is making contact. We've got the blues. I'm Jazzy. What's up, Don't what? pull a gun. I don't shoot back. I don't. I play I'm not playing. My ladies play in here. Games. Okay, I don't play games either. I've got eight kids. I'm married. Eight kids. And, uh, I, I trust all of them. your old man? No, no, he's a friend of mine. My, oh, let's see, my husband's in prison, my boyfriend's in prison, and my other boyfriend's in jail. Sounds like your old so, man been doing you wrong, man. What's with that? How far away are they? There he is. Oh, he's coming. He's got a blue shirt, shorts. He's still occupied, and he's walking on the east side of Perkins. He's looking for him. White sneakers, black shorts, light blue shirt, black male. He was on the phone. He's looking around. He's coming over. Black male, white, baby blue shirt. Brown short, baby blue shirt, large old bill, black male. He just wants to show it off. Give me the one. Nah, nah. Hey, I'll, believe me. I'll go with you. I'll stay with you. Let him do this. Please work your job. I'll Get in? stay with you. Yeah. I'll, go, I'll stay with you. Let him go get the Where, where the keys? Are the, you got the keys to the here, truck? Here, right here. He can walk. The white male is now going to be jogging or walking over towards the black male. He should be coming into your sight in a moment. Yep, we got him. See, he don't come back with that money. I will personally shoot that bastard. Who's that black cat, man? Who's that dude? The dude with the Okay? I don't know him. We got the uh, white male from the truck walking back with the black male in the blue shirt back to his uh, white SUV over at the other parking lot. Uh, here, you got He's running back. All right, yeah, then. Yeah, we're gonna have to stop that Denali then now. Because he's going up to the truck. What? No. What happened? No. You're gonna count him? 
Black Mountain just took off, got the money in the white suburban. Two units are conducting a traffic stop right now. We'll be uh, assisting them in this. And we're pulling over right now. It's gonna be a vehicle takedown. I got, I got drivers. All right. Exit the vehicle. Keep your hands up now. Start calling. All right, drivers, Good. step backward toward my voice. Keep coming. Look away from me. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right, stop. Put your arms out to the side like an airplane. Hang on. You got any weapons on you? No, sir. All right, step back here with me. Okay, open your hand. That's good. Open your hand. I don't care if it was here. Five of them was mine. Oh, I see. Okay. Open. Nope, yeah, drop not. him in there, drop him in there. Yeah. Keep down, keep down. It's a go. Doing nothing on the trail. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Keep on the Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Do it now. Put them up. Put your hands up. Right down the ground. Any needles or anything? Anything that's gonna stick me. This is the undercover's truck right here that he uh, that he drove up on. Uh, he stated that the white male, or the white, I'm sorry, the white female, um, had the uh, plastic baggie of oxycodones, which was laying right here that she broke open, as he stated. She was trying to break herself off five pieces for doing the deal, and I guess when we rolled up, she dumped them all. So we're gonna round these up here, and they should equal out to uh, to 40 pills. So you knew this guy, this white guy that, that came in the car yeah. with you that was in the passenger seat, and he knew the black guy. What were you doing in the uh, in, in the front seat? Were you breaking yourself five? You going to take five of those for you? Five of them for somebody else. Oh, you're going to go make money from somebody no. else, or you're just going to help somebody else out? Just give them to him. So basically, 35 we're going to go to the undercover. You're going to take five from the bag for a friend. You're looking at trafficking in oxycodone for the weight of that and sale of oxycodone. Just trafficking alone in the oxycodone, you're looking at 15 to 25 years. That's a minimum man. Okay. I don't. Have you been through the system, jail or, 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 or prison? I just got out of prison. You just got out of prison. What did you get? What were you in for? Driving without a license. Driving without a license. Uh, unhabitual. Okay. Well, at least you did that right. You weren't driving. Okay. All right. Um, just so you know, you're 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 under arrest for trafficking oxycodone, okay, and, and the sale of oxycodone. All right. Okay. The other car that they stopped, they got a bunch of coke, a bunch of marijuana, individual baggies. Um, Outstanding. Yeah, so we're getting some information, dribs and drabs back, but it looks like they're going to have at least one or two arrests over there, too. I've been a police officer with Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for the last four years. I've been a field training officer for the last year. Uh, I enjoy patrol. I enjoy getting out and uh, do a proactive activity. It seems like we might have something going on in front of this house over here. Mm -hmm. Patrol 3, 406 in progress. There's a white female in front of the residence. She looks like she's standing as a lookout. And there's a Hispanic male. Looks like he's going into the residence. Looks like a burglary in progress. Uh, can I answer this channel? Can we get a code 4? Actually, no, 44, no, I seven. Start that way. Let me see your hands. Get down on the ground. Put your face on the ground. Face on the ground. Do not move. Lay down. Lay down. Watch this window. I'm going around back. Hands, hands, hands. Down on the ground. What are you doing? Nothing. Where are you coming from? Nothing. Whose house? Nothing. Is it your house? Nothing. Whose house is it? Nothing. 
You got any guns? Mm -mm. Knives? Nothing, sir. What are you doing inside there? Nothing. What is this? Sure. A tweaker pouch? I just found it right now. You just found it? You got needles on you? Uh -oh. Stand up. <clears throat> Who's this girl out here? Her friend. What else you got on you? You have any more drugs on you? Yes, you sure? Yes, Is there anything sharp on you? Uh -uh. What is this? Do you understand English? Tiene más drogas en su cuerpo? No más. No más. No más methamphetamina. This is marijuana. See, ¿Sí? este es marijuana. Why'd you run out the back door? I had to check on her apartment. You were checking on her apartment. She had to check. On her she had to check on her apartment. Looked to me like she was standing as a lookout. No, she knows her too. She knows her too? What's the, what's the person that lives there name? Hmm? What's the person that lives there? What's their name? Samantha. Samantha? Samantha what? I don't know her name. What about this? Marijuana. What about the other one? I don't know. I, I found that pouch right now, like, right now when I was walking inside the living room. You found this in the living room? Yeah. Is that your girlfriend? She's my friend. Like, Not girlfriend? No. I wish. <laughs> you wish it's your girlfriend? Johnson, I'm gonna go and clear the apartment. Can you get in? We'll go through the window, just like they did. Metro Police, if you're in here, sound off. Also, he told me he locked the back door, but the back door's wide open. Right. See if there's any dope stashed around here or anything. Because uh, there's a lot of paraphernalia. This house right here definitely appears to be a flop house. Um, there's spoons all over the place. We have little baggies, pipes all uh, laying all over in this house. He made entry, but she's an accomplice because of the fact that she's out here as a lookout while he's in here breaking into the place. So we'll get this uh, figured out. There's no property inside that apartment. She told me there was a table and chairs and everything else left in that apartment. You know, Robert wishes that you were his girlfriend. Yeah, he can watch all he wants. So I don't know what's going on with that. And to me, this looks like you guys are going to use it as a flop house. No, I'm sorry. I gave him the phone number to call Christina. Okay. You gave the other officer the number? Yes. Wait a minute. Let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this. Is this Christina's anymore, or is it the apartment complexes? As she when said, was Christina evicted? She, well, as she said, she wasn't evicted. She was moving out. When? Uh, she just moved out this last weekend. That place is disgusting. I there are roaches. The there's feces everywhere. There's That's roaches. way... When she lived there, there was roaches in there. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you understand where I'm coming from, where this is yeah. kind of a... I understand. ...kind of a shifty thing? Entering any structure with an intent to commit a felony is a burglary. Okay? Okay. The okay. intent that I see here is that he wanted to go into a flop house and smoke some weed. See, my whole okay. thing was, like I said, I gave the number to the other officer to get a, try to get a hold and of And I understand that. I, I appreciate your cooperation. But being under the influence of, influence of a controlled substance is a felony, so breaking in here is a felony. It's burglary. We don't have the victim right now. I'm going to talk to him tomorrow, see what happens. So you're going to go for the trespassing tonight, which is a misdemeanor, and you're going to have to go, you're going to have to bail out on the trespassing, okay? Are you serious? I mean, I, I am serious. My address. I gave you, you guys everything. Ma'am, something happens coming I'm, with me at home. Listen like. to me. I, I want you to listen to me. I think you're guilty of a felony, but I'm booking you on a misdemeanor. You should be happy of that. You're gonna be, you know, you'll be able to get out. It's not gonna be a problem. I, that's not. Okay? The, I mean, that's not the point. I mean, that I, is the point. I didn't honestly. I didn't think anything. I was doing anything wrong. I talked to her just what a couple hours ago. It's a ago. conspiracy to commit burglary. If she wanted you in her house, she would give you the key. And he ran out the back window when I came around the corner. He was gonna. He was supposed to just open the door and let me in. I mean, that was the whole thing. Okay. I did not know he was running out. So, but what I'm saying is, is you just you just verified that you both plan to go into an apartment that's not yes, yours. Yes, I just plan on going in, and okay. she knew about it. That's the thing. Is all right. That, so. Well, this is all gonna get ironed out tomorrow. Okay. All right.
We're going to arrest him for the trespassing and for the uh, drugs that he has on him. We're going to do her for the trespassing as well because there's no trespassing signs posted right in front of the house where he was breaking into and she was standing as a lookout at, in this area. So just because we don't, we can't find the victim tonight doesn't mean the crime didn't occur. And I'll just basically, uh, we like to say we're, we're tip, of the, tip of the spear. You know, we're, we're out there looking for bad guys to, to put in jail. We're not out there trying to do anything else than find the, the absolute worst guys that are preying on the neighborhood and the local, our local area on the southeast side of Houston. We located a vehicle we'd lost earlier. Uh, he had been selling, uh, believed to have been selling narcotics. Let's see if we can get a stop on him now. Nope. Right now the passenger's probably trying to get rid of the dope. That's why they're taking a long time. Still slow rolling on Mount Plus. I guess they're getting rid of the dope. Slow down, slow down, slow down, because we're dead even with y'all. Stop, stop, stop. He's watching, hey, hang on. He's, he's watching the rear view. Watch out! Get in the car, get in the car! Okay, on the, on the ground, going back, uh, going back one street, one street holding his waistband. Custody, in custody, in custody. It's in his hand. I got it, I got it, I got it, baby. That's right. Got his coat, got his coat. You got right here. It's right here. Good job, good job, baby, good job. Got to grab my gun. Got, got wet crack. Got some fresh cook. It's all fresh cook. Got some powder. Be still. Be still, man. Hold still. Be still. Come on. Listen, listen. Listen, you ran like a man. Act like a man. Quit your crying. Hey, Quit your crying. Okay? Try to grab my gun. Try to grab my gun. What are you trying to do? You want to get killed? Huh? I don't know. It, I think it might have. What's wrong? Because wait, What's try, wrong? Huh? He tried to fight with him. Hey, uh, yeah. Let him not take the driver in custody. Okay. We What's wrong, it. huh? Uh, Why are you crying? Threw this on me. He threw that on you? All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go back over there and handle that, all right? That's not fair for him to throw that on you, all right? We got your pants. We're going to put Let's you go. in the back seat. We're going to get you some money too. So we got right now, you got obviously this. Most of this right here is low denomination. We're going to have 20 tens, fives, lots of ones. That's all. We only got a couple of hundreds. That's all pretty common for street level sales. This kind of quality and quantity, just small amounts. It's going to be street level narcotic salesmen out here in the local neighborhood. Hey, what's the deal, man? I'm, I'm Officer Wagner. I'm the guy that tried to stop you earlier, and you, uh, you want to take off and run from me. What happened? What's the deal? Tell me the story. Somebody set me up. Someone set you up? Who set you up? That driver? Why, why'd why you roll with Why didn't you just get out and say, hey, officer, this guy's got drugs. I don't want nothing to do with this guy. I don't take me. I ain't know what to do. Okay. I heard you got a fel felony warrant, stuff like that. You got a couple of felony warrants? Well, what? So you didn't want to run because of felony warrants or just want to run because of the dope? No, because he threw it on me. So what's all this money from? Yeah, that's what I have. All right. You know how you get paid for doing such stuff. Wrong. Where do you work? Oh, no, I'm not saying You like, ain't got no job? No, sir, I'm not saying You like, got a pay stub? No, sir. You filed taxes last year? You pay your taxes last year? You were in jail? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, how much money is this right now? What am I holding? How much? It's like $600. About like 600 What kind of work do you do to get that? No, my wife gave it to me. Your wife gave it to you? Did, you're on allowance? Sir. You, she put you on an allowance? No, sir, she works, sir. She works? What does she work doing? Like cars. She does cars. That makes no sense. What does she do? I, I don't know exactly. She works at the car. You don't know what your wife does. She just does something with some cars. Okay. And she pays you cash? Yeah, she gives me money. Like and ones, fives, tens, twenties, and a couple of hundreds? She gives me all kinds of money. No, she gives you all kinds of money. Okay. Well, why, why'd you grab that policeman's gun? I swear I ain't grabbed no gun, sir. I opened a fall and I was trying to grab it. Oh, so you just grabbed onto something on the way down? You broke your fall with his pistol butt? I swear to God on my life, sir. What about the driver? Is there anything over there he's going to have on him now? I don't know, sir. He gave it to me. But right now, man, you got to take the man's ride, all right? So man up. So be glad you're not dead today riding away in the morgue. So going to the morgue right now in the back of a hearse. So you lucky. You grab a police officer's gun, we're going to shoot you. That's just straight up. So, all right? 
Who's this guy to you, real quick? I've been knowing the guy for a few months, you know. Okay. And did, it, did he did he tell you not to stop? Was it him that said, "Dude, I, I got something. I, I don't stop, don't stop." When no, sir. I, I, when he came, I told him that the line. He was like, "Man, they following us." I was like, "Man, those cops are not after us." Okay. And so we y'all were talking street. for a while, and he just shocked you by jumping out of your car as it was moving and running. Yeah. He he was like, "Man, what you doing?" I was like, "Man, them police cars. They not going around. They must be pulling me over." Okay. So I, that's why you see this truck park right here. I didn't go around. Have that you ever truck. been arrested for a drug case? Yes, sir. You have. How many? About two. About two? Way back, years. Maybe more? I thought yeah. we found some more on you than two, a lot more. Nah, y'all found some more. About four. To About be four. Honest, okay. Yes. Okay, so now but we're going to be were honest. Years ago. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we're going to be honest? Yes, sir. Okay, so be two, honest. four, we're going to maybe six when we get all sucked done with this. No, sir. Okay, so you got all these drug cases. Your partner bails out with a bunch of drugs on them and money. Why would you make me think that after you not want to pull over, that you're not involved in any of this? That you're just an innocent victim of giving a nice man a ride? That's so. I'll say I'm not going to play ignorant with you because you're right. I don't man, play man, a man, okay. man, man, a man with you. Okay. I knew that he was still involved and doing, but I didn't know he had anything on him. I wouldn't have been driving. That's not even my car, okay. officer. You might be going to jail for evading in a vehicle. Okay. Officer, okay. please don't do me like that. No, I didn't can do nothing you, can to you. Can you take, Just cut I your break? I mean, just not, cut your not, break? On, not, on, not on that. Officer, take me to jail for something else, sir. Like, what do you want me to do? Just make something up? I mean, I what, mean, you, I, what would I, you like to go to jail for? public intoxication. Okay, or, just take you to jail for PI today? It, have you I been mean, drinking? No, sir. Well, how? <laughs> <laughs> officer. Okay. So, all right, dude, look at that. Okay, bang, bang. Driver is going to jail for uh, evading in a motor vehicle and possession control substance for the crack cocaine found in his driver's seat. Our front passenger over here has got three felony warrants. He's going for his three felony warrants, parole violation. This uh, shows possession uh, control substance with intent to deliver. He's going to jail for that. Became a policeman probably because it was a natural thing to do. My dad was a state police officer and head of narcotics. My brother is now a lieutenant with the Harris County Sheriff's Office uh, after the military act came and joined the Sheriff's Office. I'm a field training officer now. Uh, kind of give some of my knowledge to some of the guys out here. Thank you, man. Uh, we're en route to a possible driving while intoxicated uh, person driving southbound on our beltway. We're going to see if we can't catch up to them and uh, we'll see what the problem is. Apparently they hit the curb a few times. Where they break 20, there's a shell station. 22, we're 21. Got a beer already out on top of the car. Yes, I need a friendly record to uh, Snare Wheel Clayton at the shell station. All right, we're on scene uh, with our DWI driver. We're gonna see what's going on. Hello. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm tired. Deputy. Oh, tired. I'm Deputy Ellington, Harris County Sheriff's Office. Um, <laughs> do you know why we pulled you over or why we're with you today? Um, I was falling asleep. So you were falling asleep. Yeah. Have you taken any prescribed medication today? No. No, you, do you take any prescribed medication? No. No? How many beers have you had today? Just the one. Just one? Did you hit the curb any? Yes. Maybe? Yep. Okay. And you're sure you only had one beer? Yes. Okay. Um, 43, 22, Trevor. Where are you headed? Yeah, um, at, at, at um, Wallaceville and 2100. I go down um, maybe like five blocks. Okay. Could you step out of the car real quick? 42 and 22, send me your alarm. Yeah, I can get there. Forty-two, You have anything on you I need to know about? No. Anything in your pockets? Go ahead and turn your pockets inside out. Awesome. All right, let me let me see something real quick. Turn around, turn around. What's in your back pocket here? ID or anything? Any other one? This one that's closed. Forty-three oh twelve. Send me a call. My other driver's license. Your other driver's license? Um. I'm going through a divorce, 
So when I got my driver's license, I had it um, under, but I'm trying to get a divorce, so. Okay, yeah. here, here's the deal. Did you know it's unlawful to uh, possess two driver's licenses? I, yes, I just found this out. Okay, it's, it's also unlawful to have two driver's licenses that are current and two different names on them. Okay, all right. Here, let's, let's walk over here real quick. We need to check some things. Okay, what I need you to do is I need you to stand, face me. Stand with your feet together, just like that. Put your hands down by your side. Okay, now listen, are you on any prescribed medication? No, sir. Okay, have you taken any prescribed medication? No. Are you sure you hesitated? I took half of his annex. That's what I needed to know. What else? Any soma, hydrocodone? Um, I took Lorset. That's Vicodin, hydrocodone. Yes. Okay. How many? One. Are you sure? Okay. Keep your hands down by your side. What I'm going to have you do is you're going to keep your hands down by your side. And you're going to lift a foot, whichever foot you'd like to, approximately six inches off the ground, just like I am. You're going to point your toe out. And you're going to look at your toe. You're going to count aloud like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. If you should touch the ground with your foot while you're counting, don't worry about it. Pick it back up. You understand? Yes. Begin. You need to count for me, sweetie. Oh. That's okay. And you, you said... 1,001, 1, 1,002, 1, yeah. Up to six? No, whenever oh. I say stop. 1,001, 1,002... I'm very tired. That's okay. 1,001, 1,002. Okay. Uh, so last thing I want you to do, I want you to turn around and face that way, okay? Face this way. What I want you to do, okay? I'm going to stand behind you. I'm going to do a test. What I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. I want you to put your hands out just like that, palms out, okay? Okay? I want you to close your eyes and count to 20. Okay, you're under arrest for the suspicion of driving while intoxicated, okay? Yes, sir. You ever been in trouble before? Not like this, sir. Okay. Like how? How have you been in trouble? Um. Here, step over here. Well, I guess it's not me in trouble. I just went through domestic violence. So, your husband was in trouble? Okay. Here, I need you to have a seat back here. Now listen, were you honest with me about how many pills you had? The reason why I'm asking, have a seat for me, sweetie, is because you're impaired to the point to where you didn't pass any of my tests. None of my tests did you pass, okay? Um, and I don't think you're intoxicated on alcohol, although you have been drinking alcohol. I think it's the pill you take. How many Xanax have you taken today? I took a half a bar. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. How many? How many? How many uh, somas? Two. Two somas. Okay. That's probably what. Okay. 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 And how many lower set? Two. Okay. Well, listen. When you go to court, you're going to have options. Okay. If they have an option for treatment. You probably want to take that treatment. I work the graveyard shift. Work in the graveyard shift, you never know what you're going to get into. Definitely the city that's 24-7. Uh, it's a unique place to work. I love it. It's definitely the coolest job I've ever had. Airport. Control 1, DP32. I got that vehicle stopped. Uh, this vehicle's backed into one of our patrol vehicles in the other lot. Roll down your windows. Turn the vehicle off. Okay. Go ahead and turn it off. Step out for me, please. Tom, 187 control. You step out of the car, too, sir. Walk out towards the back. Can you be an out to them? They're at Spring Mountain. West of Go ahead, ma'am. Step out of the car, please. All right. Back into the patrol car. Uh, right back here. Ma'am, back here. 
And uh, 602 Tom, a page, let him know. Copy. Step right here. Metro Police, right there. I'm sorry, back your vehicle, front line. Right there. Right there. Do you have any weapons on you? Chance, on your back, please. Ma'am, take your purse off for me. Put it up here. Spread your feet out, sir. Spread your feet. Okay, when, when your friends yelled at you to stop, when I yelled at you to stop, right after your girlfriend backed into my police vehicle, why did you not stop? Put your hands your back. I was standing about 80 yards from you guys, and I heard a boom, I saw your car bounce, and I saw my car bounce. Why did you guys not stop? Did you know you hit that car? No, Okay, look, okay. Come here one second, right here. Can I come? Yeah, I told her to. You see that? Your marks on your car right there? That you just backed into a police car. That's why you got stopped. Come right back up here for me, okay? Is your ID in here? You've been had anything to drink. Be honest with me. felt the vibration. I mean, you didn't feel that? No. Ma'am, how much have you had to drink tonight? Um... So you had about four drinks mm -hmm. in about three hours? Yep. Okay. That's your vehicle? It's actually my ex-husband's vehicle. Chris. Where's the marijuana at? In the center console, sir. This driver of this vehicle, uh, she uh, backed into a patrol vehicle on another call. Um, she didn't stop when we tried to get her to stop in the parking lot, so we came around and did a car stop on her. Um, walked up to the vehicle, when I pulled her out, I could smell a strong smell of marijuana. Therefore, can you start that way? It's going to be map 26. Well, I could smell it like halfway up to the car. Is that yours? We didn't copy any of the beginning of any of that. Do you have anything illegal in your purse? Um, no, not my purse. Else in the vehicle? Just in that green bag right there. All right. Mind if I take a look in your purse? Sure. Okay. What's in here? Some marijuana. Okay. I don't want to open it and have it fly all over it's the place. It's just a little bit. Okay. But that's enough. Okay. So we're sitting in the parking lot on this 407, and we hear a loud crunch, and we look up. They just backed up into it and then okay. sped off. Did she realize she hit you? No. Marijuana in the car, too. All right. There's an obvious mark on her car. On her bumper. See what did. No damage at all. Nah. Just a scuff. Why are you driving away from the scene of an accident? Especially when you hit a police car. Because honestly, I didn't know that I actually hit the vehicle. I really thought that my sensors were going off because Did of the- Did you hear the sensors going off? Yeah, absolutely. They okay. beeped three times, which tells, which tells me I hit something or I'm going to hit something. Okay. And I thought that it was the person that was crossing the sensors behind me. And that's why I took my, my- So was the person the between your truck and the police car? Yes. He was walking right behind the vehicle. He was on the side of my vehicle. Okay. And that's what I saw. I didn't look. I didn't see. I saw the person. I, and that's but all that I was concerned about. I was there? like, oh my gosh, I almost hit that guy. Okay. But you didn't see the big police car taking up like three parking spots. The, I did see the police car. And I, I thought that I stopped in time. She has a homemade glass smoking pipe, um, wrapping papers with residue. And then she has a, a little like eye thing where you put your uh, eyelids with... Uh, one little piece of marijuana in it. It's gonna be a misdemeanor. It's less than one ounce. It's uh, just a ticket. She's been very cooperative. Do you have anybody that has not been drinking when we're all done with this that can take possession of the vehicle? Absolutely. Okay, where, where is he or she at? Back at, at the bar? Place of work. Where are they doing that? My there? boss. And your boss is working now? He's not drinking? My boss is working, not drinking. Okay. Okay, you're gonna get some citations for your traffic violations? Okay. You get some citations for your extracurricular activities there? I'm nervous now than anything. No. Oh, I can't, can't blame you. And, and here's here's another thing too, okay? Is clean out your car, mm -hmm. all right? Because it, it, as like I said, I walked up, I could smell it I I just 20 feet away. Okay. 
want you to sign your tickets, okay? You're getting two of them today, okay? okay. Possession of a controlled substance less than one ounce and possession of a narco paraphernalia for the glass pipe, okay. okay? If you don't appear on that date, a warrant may be issued for your arrest, okay? Yes, so I need you to go ahead and sign right there on that red X, all right? Here's the thing, okay? And you backed into the back of a police vehicle. I mean, and then you... Uh, and then we, we, thought, we, we thought you were attempting to get away. So that's why we came flying after you, you know, sirens and everything. Right. Um, thank you for being cooperative. But like I said, you, you need to leave that at home. Don't leave it in your car. Policeman, brother suggested to join the sheriff's office. I did, and uh, been here for over 10 years now. Field training officer in our uh, south district. I could not imagine doing anything else. I wouldn't do anything else. I'd do this for free. Okay, there's a car just ahead of us, uh, just rolled through a stop sign. We're gonna stop and see what's... 43 Frank 20 traffic. Yeah, the 2897. 177. Cedar Lane, that mobile home supply. How you doing, Deputy Ellington, Harris County Sheriff's Office? Can I see your driver's license proof of insurance, please? Uh, sir, can I yeah. tell you honest God's truth? Yeah, tell me the honest God's truth. Okay, uh, my license is suspended. I just got, I got the paperwork, but I don't have it with me. Okay. And this car, it, it was just flooded. I'm trying to get it on straight now. Go ahead and you check that. I've never been arrested for driving on a suspended license. All right. Uh, but, I mean, this car, I just got it running right. Now. I don't have Well, do this for me. Let's put the cigarette out. I'm going to tell you I'm going to do her off. You just drop it out. Turn off the engine. <coughs> Let's do this for a second. Step on out. Yeah, step on out. Put your hands on the dash. Put your hands behind your back. You Those all your pills right there? That's my medication. All prescribed to you. Can you move your hands one more time? Sure. I'm going to tase you. You understand that? Sure. Come back here. Right there. If you move, if you move, do you understand me? If you move, take off running, all I need is 21 feet, and I'm going to tase you. You understand no, that? I'm not going to do all that. I understand. That's why I'm telling you the truth, sir. All right. You going to arrest me? I might. Put that cigarette down. Just spit it out. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, you're under arrest. Who is? This guy. For all them pills in his pocket. You don't keep them in a red bull pill. Frank 22 to tank. You got anything so, else illegal on so you? Bold. You're coming back to the car, man. Is there anything in this? No, sir. It's uh, last night. You have any more pills on you? I have a prescription for those. And state law says you got to keep it in your prescribed bottle, and you got to have your prescription on you at all times. Put your feet. He was with me this morning, whatever I want. What's that? Crack pipe? Is that a crack pipe? Answer me. No. What is it? What are you feeling? What is that? Is that a crack pipe? Yes or no? It's my underwear. If I pull out a crack, Hurt. get on the ground. Oh. Don't reach for it. I'm not reaching for nothing, man. Frank 20, step him up. That's a city lane and I stand Friday one. You tell traffic, where's the traffic going? Get on your knees. Back here, Ramon. Ramon! This guy's reaching for something in his pants. All for a crack pipe. Send him. Send him. All right. You busted my hand open. You busted my hand. Your head ain't bleeding. Your hand's bleeding. Frank 20, release it. Roll EMS, if you don't mind, please. Yeah. 
Name. I have uh, another unit with me. It's under control. Ten. I apologize Ready for two. all this. I, I, I was just, uh, I was giving them a ride to the police. Uh, police, don't arrest me if you can avoid it at all costs. I don't know that yet. We gotta figure out what's going on. I know he's going to jail. Well, I have nothing. You see, I, I'm being calm. I haven't done nothing, sir. Twenty thousand now. Thank you, ma'am. Bring him to the back. Yeah. Or no more record. Hold on, Richard. Hold on. Okay, Richard, let you know. Um, the only thing I'm going to put you in for is your uh, the the possession of controlled substance for the for the crack pipe. Okay? Unfortunately, it's a felony, you know, right? Okay? Have you ever been to jail for possession before? No? Okay. All right. That's all we're going to go for tonight, okay? Hey, listen. If that ever happens again, man, don't fight us. You feel me? Yes, they, All right. they tape it. I mean, uh, they test it. Yeah, we tested it. It's positive for cocaine. Okay? All right. I'm a little bit too big to be fighting, right? Yes, I wasn't trying to fight. I know, but you, that, that's how it felt. All right. Have a seat for me. Thank you, Rich. All right, Jeremy, you're just going to go open for your three traffic warrants, okay? And uh, we'll make sure you get all your property and put it in, your, uh, uh, in the property with you when you go to jail, okay? I'll make sure you get your cell phone, okay? You just need to keep a little bit better friends, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Two things that, that really irritate me, one of which is people parking in the handicapped spots that don't have the handicap alerts, and the other one is seeing the parents driving around with their kids just bouncing all over the place in the cars. Uh, the children that are not buckled in. Saw a car, passenger doors open. Uh, I don't know if the vehicle's been burged or not, but I'm gonna check it out real quick. Oh, there's two people in it. Stay in the car, partner. This is my house. As I drove by, I saw that the door was open. No, that's my garage. No, I saw this door open uh -oh. as I drove by. And this is what I'm checking on, make sure that this things are cool. Yeah. Okay, right on. Get some ID real quick. Nice in the house, I'll go get that. Okay, you know, I'll uh, write up the down for me. How about you, ma'am? Huh? You have an ID? No. No ID, driver's license, nothing? I was in the city. Okay, but somebody drove the car here and your keys are in the ignition. Okay, where do you live? I live in Alabama. Okay, so how did the car get here if you didn't drive it? I drove from work. Okay, so you drove the car without a license and you... Okay. Do you have it on you? Please tell me that's an airsoft back there. What? Is that a real gun back there? Don't touch it. Answer the question. What you want? Is that an airsoft? Somebody else is here, sir. You tripping. Is that an airsoft? I don't know. I haven't touched it. You can look at it. Step out of the car. Put your hands on the roof. This okay. is my phone. Okay. This is my phone. I'm not okay. doing that. Okay. Sit down right there. I'll sit down. Sit down. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. It's my mom. Put the phone down. Mama, come down there. Put the phone down. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh my Other God. hand. Oh my God. I want to find out if that's a real gun or a fake gun. Oh. Okay. Sit down. Down, sit down, okay? Let that's all. Right Just sit down, right, sit down right there. Okay? Uh, Robert 38, close it out, 98 NAT. 45. Loaded. Who's gun? I don't know who's gun it is. Who's gun? Somebody else was here and they left. And they must have left it back there. This is ridiculous. Why is it? Yeah, what's ridiculous is a gun we're sitting on the seat. Don't even you don't know. even know, really. That's what we're okay, saying. well, explain it to me. I don't. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. That's a from 2D tank. 
first of you Mary Adam Roberts, who had it. You go chase Queen him Union dead. Edward Sam yeah, Henry Adam, date of birth of 0906, of, also unconfirmed. Right now, dispatch is trying to locate the registered owner of the gun. It comes back stolen, you're both going to jail. For a gun? That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. That's what's going to happen. Why would I go to jail? You're the driver of the car. You're the one that's in control of the vehicle, right? I, I understand. Okay. Go ahead, stand up. Stand up. Yeah, I'd be like, stand up. Punk or something. Well, let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Good, get in. Mm, call the registered owner, see what he has to say. Hi, is this Doyle? Hi, this is Deputy Glant, Sermon County Sheriff's Department. How you doing? Do you know a guy by the name of Isaiah? Do you know a female by the name of Markeisha? Well, the gun was sitting in a back seat of the car that these two people were in. Hey, boss, what's your name? What's my name? Yeah, Isaiah. Isaiah? Hey, uh, where'd you get that gun from, man? It's not my gun, sir. Okay, whose is it? I, I, I was telling him earlier. Some dude came running down the street talking about getting chased or some weird like that. And we told like, I seen him around before or something like that. And I told him to get in. Then he waited. Then like, he was just like out of breath and panicking. Like, all right, they gone. Like, I didn't know what he was told. He started tripping out. Then he just got out of the car and ran up that way. And I, but like, like, well, that's like he was saying, like, well, I didn't think it was a real gun either. Like, what's up? Oh, I didn't know what it was. That's why I touched it and all that. You, you can find fingerprints on all that now. I, that's, that's a bad part of me, but like, I didn't know. I didn't know if it was a real. That's why I touched to see if it was a real gun. I didn't know what to do. Okay. All right, man. Sit tight. I just let uh, dispatch know that uh, the registered owner of the gun is going to be following a stolen gun report with uh, Riverside PD. So, going to go tell both of these guys what they're going to go to jail for. Can well, look, can guess what? This? Guess what? What? The gun is reported stolen. Okay, so both of you guys are gonna go to jail for possession of stolen property. We'll do come on up. You want both of us to come out? No, just just her. Come here. Nothing's funny here. Where'd the gun come from? I have no idea. Did somebody jump in your car? I was in the on me. I was in the bathroom and I came out. He the story he telling y'all, that's what he told me, and I'm thinking he lying, like what the like, you know, like mm -hmm. It don't even sound right, like, you know? Okay. This is weird. Like, I'm smiling. I don't hope you don't think I'm thinking it's a joke. I'm smiling because this don't seem real at all. Well, it is real. And okay. that's the scary part about it. And you're on your way to Juvenile Hall. All right. Have a seat back here. See if you're smiling in a few hours. Juvenile Hall. Sit up. Okay, you realize what you're going to jail for now? I heard you, yes. Okay. You're going to hey. jail for possessing stolen property. Y'all can't go look for the dude or something like that? Like, y'all keep thinking we lie. Like, why would we just have a gun in the back seat just posted? Like, wouldn't we try to hide it somewhere? And we seen y'all come by, we didn't try to hide it then. Like, it's just, come on, man. That's crazy. You going to stick with that story? Let me get a 1185 this location. Hmm? It's the truth, man. Okay. All right. He's going to go to jail and get booked for possession of stolen property and possessing a loaded firearm in a car. The weather here is phenomenal. It's just, you feel like you're on a vacation uh, year round. And you know, I have a couple little kids and uh, my wife, we enjoy going out, uh, taking in the rays. We go to Santa Bell and Captiva, which is, you know, people pay a lot of money to vacation there and we have it, you know, 20 minutes away. So it's nice. All right, we're going to a breach of peace call. It came in from a 15 year old and it was that her dad left the house and made some threats that he was going to shoot the mother and shoot himself. And apparently, he's uh, he can bid on those threats because he's a security guard and he does have a weapon. Yeah, okay, we're selling right. stop first and Evan. Go to the bridge. Okay, we're going to the bridge. Keep coming back. Walk back. Walk back to the sound of my voice. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep walking backwards. Put your hands behind your back. Behind your back. Behind your back. Is anybody else in the vehicle with you? My wife. Your wife's in the vehicle. Can anybody see her from that side? Can anyone see her? No, my wife. Come on back here. Come on back here. Come on back here.
Let's have a seat. Anything on you? Any no, weapons? Just, no, huh? no, no, sir. Is there any weapons in the car? Ah, uh, yes, sir. There is a weapon yes, in the sir. car. Nine what? millimeter. A nine millimeter. Where is it at? It's in the glove box, sir. The glove box. Okay. Okay. Just relax. No, you're not in trouble. Just relax for me, okay? I'll let you know in a second. Clear. 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 Where's the gun at? In the glove box. Glove box. Right there. Yeah, we just did a felony traffic stop. Uh, the driver, white male, came out first. Um, kind of debriefed him real quick, and he let me know that there was a, a gun in the. Yeah, we can go ahead and secure that. And this was the complainant was in Cape Coral, right? Yeah, complainant's in Cape. She's on the phone. She said that she was told by this subject here he was gonna come back to his mother's house, kill himself, and kill his mother. So. Say uh thunder. It's a burst millimeter. of thunder, uh, nine millimeter. Yep. Ready to go. Box cut, ready to go. It's a good stop. Yeah man. You saved somebody tonight. Talk to these guys to find out exactly what's going on. How you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Where are you guys at tonight? Centennial Park. Centennial Park. Yeah. Alright, and while you guys are at Centennial Park. We just got, no, we, we've been arguing for a couple of days. Okay. My daughter kind of took it out of contents. Okay. We we're on our way home now. Okay. Or whatever, because I, I was just telling them I started with my husband. Like, well, here's I'm the deal. Your daughter calls and says that he's going to kill you and himself. No, really, I really need, to, that's why I want to talk to her, because I don't know why she would say that, because honestly, I've never... Have you guys been he's fighting? Never, yeah. Right, have you guys been fighting? It was me, and I'm, I'm being honest. Okay. I was, like, jealous over some girl. Okay. Or whatever and stuff like that and I just took it and that's why I didn't get in the car because I didn't want to fight with him in front of my kids. So he just ended up taking them home and he came back to get me. So he dropped them off, came back and picked you up and then that's why and they we called from Cape Coral and said that there's a problem. I'm All like right. because I thought that okay. he was seeing someone else and I'm sorry but well, I'm jealous. I'm sorry. Well that's fine but at least we know what's going on now. Yeah but I'm not like scared. I don't ever. Okay. I'm not scared of my well, husband. That kind of makes sense now. I'm like I'm really not all right. Richard. Yes, sir. Come on out. We want to talk to you outside here for a minute. You can go to the back of the car with Officer Pepin. I mean, were you, let me ask you a question. Were you a little distraught, a little upset with your with your wife, and maybe maybe you just got upset and you ran at the mouth a little bit? No, no just going, coming back to get her, you know. I know. But I mean, no, but I mean. Nothing like, like But on your way there, is there any comments that you might have no, made sir. that upset no, your daughter at all? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Are Nothing. you sure? I'm positive. I'm Why positive. would your daughters call us? And she is, I mean, let me tell you, your daughter's extremely upset. I love my children more than anything in the world. I'm they sure you do. I would never, ever. I mean, that's that's. I'm not saying you meant any never. harm to them. I mean, never. But I'm talking about yourself that's and your God's wife. God's honest truth. I'm never. talking about yourself. I wouldn't harm anybody, anybody, unless it was self-defense. I would never harm my wife. I would never harm my children. Never. Do you, never, do you normally never. carry your gun in a holster when you're off duty and not working? I always carry it in a holster. Okay. Why is it just thrown in your glove box like it was rushed and thrown in there? No, because in between, like after I get out of here in the morning, I go to, I have another job during the day, and I was just, you know, I just threw it in the box. So you from know, your last job, the last I, I job you worked, that gun's been don't. there. You didn't have it out tonight. No, or no, 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 sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. It just looks kind of odd in there. It's sitting kind of. Yeah, it's. It's, it's not it's, found in a manner that you would expect a security guard to have their gun in a holster, know, either on their person that. or. I you know, tucked away somewhere. It looks like today and, looks like it was thrown in there. Uh, you know, no, sir, I would never harm anybody. Why would you bring that gun out when you guys are drinking? And to be honest, I forgot all about it in the in the in the, in the glove box. And, and to be responsible about it, I should have never forgot about it in my glove box. But I was just caught up with you know, I, I work from seven to seven in the morning, and then I go from here to Dunkin' Donuts right at the end of the bridge here. Yeah? I worked from there from 7 in the morning to 12 in the afternoon, and then we were, I went home and slept, and then I, we were getting ready to come out here to the Centennial Park. I would never harm anybody, anybody, unless it was self-defense, and that's the God's honest truth. My children, my wife, 
I love my wife. I love my children. Have a seat uh, back in the car, man. All right? We'll just talk about some things over and we'll uh, figure out what we can do here. I don't know if he said it out of anger or what. He said he wanted to kill you and then kill himself, so. That's not good. But I'm like, I love him. I just want to work out on marriage. Now we're we're going to take his firearm. Okay. And you guys are going to be going downtown meeting with a detective, okay? Okay. All right? That's the best I can do for you now. Yeah.